what's up guys it's probably the rc guy and we're back and man today i'm super excited this is something i've been waiting for for a long long time i've been doing tons of research on this build um and first and foremost before i start this build i want to give a shout out to a uh, guy i've been following for a while guy i got a lot of inspiration from his name is uh steve over at uh rc trucks and tanks 24 7. uh this is where i got the inspiration for this build um, I saw this motor originally on a on a Facebook ad a couple like a year ago now um, that I've been following the Toyin engines um, and now they just released a new one which actually isn't made by Toyin but it's the NR200 um, which is slightly different than the FS200 uh, from Toyin. It is technically a different manufacturer but it's a very similar engine. It revs higher. It's apparently more defined. It's water cooled. Um, the exhaust intake manifold, carb setup are all different, but this motor is supposed to rev to 22,000 RPMs compared to the other twin engine you're supposed to rev to, I think they say 13 and a half thousand. Um, but this is it, man. I am super excited. Normally I don't do unboxing videos. I, I did one before just, you know, why not? Um, this one I think is going to be quite interesting. Um, the engine and all the accessories can be purchased from Sterling kit. I will leave a link in the description down below for all the parts. Um, they're who I buy all these parts from for all the twin engines and all the twin engines that I'm going to be doing on this channel because there's going to be a lot. Um, this is what I'm excited about is doing these custom builds. I come from building custom cars and now I'm doing custom RCs. So with that, let's get into this bad boy. So here it is. This is the Rufia NR200. Really cool box. Heavy, 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 heavy. This is, uh, the DHL says, um, two and a half pounds. And, let's see. All right, we got that one off. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Right along with you guys. Here we go. Nice little instruction book here. I'm not going to read through this all and bore you. Um, I do definitely suggest that you guys do fully read through this book. I will on my own off camera. Um, I'm obviously not going to read through this book. That would be quite distasteful, but there it is. We do get a manual. Now on to the star of the show here. This thing is very nicely packaged, especially because it's coming from China. Look at all that. Boom, boom. Four layers. Woo! And here she is. Oh, wow. That's heavy. There's nothing else in the box. Wow. Look at this. Wow, that is heavy, but beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh we got we got some more in here. Oh, we do got some mounting screws in the box. Nice. Look at that. That is just absolutely beautiful. My hat is off to this company. Oh, billet. Just absolutely gorgeous. Here we have the water inlet and outlet. We have the water pump. This is the outlet for the fuel. So these engines are four stroke, but they do burn nitro. Um, but the oil in the nitro is just used to lubricate the engine and it's spit out here. It's not actually burned. Um, and then we, here we have the exhaust manifold um, mounted backwards. <laughs> not quite sure why that is. Uh, over here we get two glow plugs. Um, and it even comes with its own starting motor. Now this one, um, only thing I'm confused about, the Toyin engine comes with a um, a brushless starting motor. This one is not, this one is brushed. Um, I mean, I'm not, you know, it's not a huge deal, but it's kind of odd considering this is supposed to be the upgraded version. And here we have our starter belt. And then this just comes with a massive uh, flywheel on here. This is just for modeling purposes if you just wanted to set this in something. Um, the clutch still has to come in. The clutch has not come in yet. And then of course up here we have um, we have our carburetor, which oh I got to get a return spring. Completely forgot. That's a little gummy. Mm -hmm. So overall, I'm just I mean this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Here's our fuel inlet. It's our idle, low speed, high speed. It's kind of odd. That's uh, all the way down here, but. We'll get into the tuning and uh, for mounting, looks like we got four mounting holes in the bottom, which I ordered three mil screws. It's a good thing it came with its own mounting hardware because those are four mil. 
Oh boy, I may have to take a trip out to the hobby store today, so that's going to mount flat. All right, let's get into the uh, startup kit. So, startup kit here. This is our coolant tank. So, we have to go out and grab some, some coolant. So, there's our, our fill, our feed, and return. Oh, okay. It comes off a little easier than I would have thought. Um, here is some water line, which I don't think that's going to be enough. And I think we're going to take a trip out to the hobby store. Maybe for the purpose of the video. But yeah, that's uh, that's funny. So this is definitely the right size here for the coolant tank. But uh, as far as on the motor, that's a hard no. <laughs> so that is uh, that's pretty useless. So we're gonna have to go get some uh, some bigger, maybe some nitro fuel line today. Right here we have some Enya glow plugs, 1.5 volt, made in Japan. These are number five. These are for a four-stroke engine. We get two of these. So we do get the mounting screws. Uh, here we do get a fuel tank, nitro fuel tank. 12-12. We got what, two mounting points here. I don't, three. One, two, three. Um, not exactly sure what this is for. I mean, it could be for anything, but I will I'll get her mounted up and uh, now this seems like different tubing, so that's just like a plastic tubing where this is an actual, this is an actual nitro line, um, but it's slightly bigger. Actually, that's the correct size here too. So I'm not sure. We're probably gonna end up putting some. I mean, that does fit with a zip tie. It'd probably be fine, but we may end up putting some bigger hose barbs on this. That's pretty cool. Um. Yeah, because I want to increase the water line size anyway. I mean, that's that's just too tiny. This seems like the proper size, and I believe the radiator is that size as well. Um, here we go. And here we have the radiator. Oh, which even comes with some mounting brackets. So that'll be helpful. And these are, whew, again, massive outlets. I did see, and I know in another video, um, here we go, we got some... It's like just some steel mounting brackets and four small cap head allens. Those are some big barbs. So, um, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> quite a difference. We're going to have to get some adapter hose here. Um, I knew that was going to happen. Then we're going to get this mounted up. Um, and I'm probably also going to be including a fan for this. Keep it all real scale. And then in here, um, the other star of the show. Now this is the electronics, this is the ESC, and the glow igniter, which is what you need to run this engine. And this right here is everything you need to run this engine. Um, besides, a, this takes a 2S or 3S LiPo, so we have um, two boxes here. So this will be your ESC um, with a Dean's connector, and we have our start-stop button, which I will be modifying that. Um, and then over here we have our positive-negative lead, which will run here to the brushed start motor. And then we have a lead off of this ESC, which is a uh, little baby connector, which goes to the igniter. And here's the igniter. Um, this guy will get powered off of here, which I may change this setup to make it a little bit more clean. Um, and these are our little spark plug boots. These will go here and here. And then we have a ground wire that has to be run uh, to the head. And it gets its power from here, from that battery. And those are the electronics that you need to run this engine. Um, it runs on 20% nitro. And I believe that is it. So guys, this is a, this is a cool day, man. I am super excited. So we're gonna have to go get a tank. Uh, we have to go get some coolant. And uh, I'm gonna try to get this thing started up today. And we may be able to. So I really hope you guys are as excited as I am. Um, because this is going to be a really, really cool project. <laughs> and here I wanted to get a clip. Uh, we have the engine, and this is what it's going in, baby. This is the Sen F450. This is completely stock, uh, never ran. Besides, I did lift it. Um, it is on King Shocks. They are 100 millimeter, so it has a, a pretty decent lift to it. Other than that, it's completely stock. I've literally never even driven it. 
uh, yet. I bought it just for the purpose of this build, just because I think it's super, super cool. Um, I did see the idea, like I said, from uh, Steve over at RC Tanks and Trucks. Um, going to be doing this quite similar to what he did, just slightly different. Um, I'm going to go through the build with you. I got some, um, some aluminum here to make some standoffs. Uh, whatever I need to do, custom mounts, spacers, um, to get some assorted screws so far. And uh, from my local hobby store, I got a sheet here of aluminum. This is going to be um, for our mounting. So this here, let's get this boy to zoom. This is some, um, what is this? 0 0.064, uh, six by 12 inch piece of aluminum sheet. Um, so that's a 63 millimeter uh, gauge aluminum, which we're going to be using to make a uh, mount for the engine, uh, which will mount underneath there. And then we'll also be using this to make a mount for the transmission, the fuel tank, and anything else we need. Um, so this is not going to be a light truck. <laughs> um, I do have some upgraded stiffer springs I got for these King Shocks just in case. I mean, right now it, it moves quite nice. Um, my intentions is to use this as a crawler geared down. So I removed the sway bar, so we have a lot, a lot of flex on this bad boy. Um, so like I said, my intention is to use this as a crawler type. So this is it guys. This is, this is part one. I really hope you guys enjoy this, this build. I hope you stay with me. I'm excited. I bet you're excited. And, uh, hopefully by the end of the day here, we will have a, uh, we may have this bad boy mounted up here and, uh, ready to start. So I'm going to go out and get some parts and get ready for this build. So with that, I'll see you next time.